Good afternoon, it's Brenda Meller with Meller Marketing. I am so excited to be here today. It's gonna to be a great, great slash session of Social Media Pie, and I am slicing up a really great topic for you today. I've actually invited my friend, Shauna Ramsey, to be joining me today. We're gonna to talk about how introverts can rock at networking. Hey, Shauna, how are you? I'm great, thank you for having me, Brenda. I'm so excited I'm to be on. Yes, I'm so excited to have you on. And a little birdie told me that today is your birthday, Shauna. Is this true information? It is true. <laughs> no, I have to admit it. <laughs> so did you did you know when you selected this day? I mean, you had to have known when you picked this day that this was your birthday and this is going to be the show date that we do, right? So I did. And I always try and do something new on my birthday. And since we're social distancing and right. you know, being apart, I was bracking my brain how I was going to do that. And you came forward and said, hey, I'd love to have you on the show. And, <laughs> and I, you know, I just was like, okay, this is a perfect match. I'm yeah. going to force myself to do this. I was flattered, but at the same yeah. time, terrified when you asked. Oh, no. Really? I, I was shocked to hear that because you don't strike me as the kind of, I was like, oh, she'd be perfect because she's a great networker. Come on on the show. Uh, <laughs> no. So I am an introvert. I yeah. identify as an introvert. And um, I really push myself to get out and network. And I have uh, mm -hmm. techniques that I use in order to do that. So. Awesome. Well, we're going to get into that conversation in just a minute. But first, Shauna, you're going to be my first ever serenade. I need to sing happy birthday to you. Is that okay? Oh, yes. I'm so <laughs> for it. And I want to invite you guys, if you're watching along, don't let me do this alone. You have to sing along with me. Okay. So we're going to sing happy birthday to Shauna. Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Shauna. Happy birthday to you. Yay, <laughs> you. Awesome. I, I should have brought a slice of pie in with a candle and then I could have had you virtually blow and then I could have had a child off the side blowing it. So we made it look like it was a a, a birthday candle blowout going on there. That would have been so cool. You have to keep that as an idea for the future, for sure. That will be the next time we'll do yeah. that for sure. But um, I just want to welcome everybody who's joining us here today, whether you're watching us live on LinkedIn or you're watching us Facebook Live, if you're watching this in playback, maybe you're watching this on YouTube a month from today, Shauna's birthday. At any rate, drop a comment below. Let us know where in the world you're watching from. Are you in Michigan like Shauna and I? Are you in Indiana or India or where are you watching this from in the world? And if you guys know Shauna, or actually if you, even if you don't know Shauna, Drop a little comment below and wish Shauna a happy birthday as well and, and help me to celebrate her special day with, with all of us today. So Shauna, let's get started with this conversation. And, and I, what I wanna do is um, I wanna kind of tell people a little bit about our background, how we got to know each other. Yeah. So, um, so the year was 2018, right? And I'm actually gonna pull a picture up on screen to show you guys this. And I was asked to speak at um, one of my first conferences out of, outside of Metro Detroit by Inforum. And, and on screen right now, you'll see a picture of myself on the left, Shauna in the middle, and then the CEO and president of Inforum, Terry Barclay. And Terry and I were presenting about networking. I was kind of focusing on LinkedIn tips and, and Terry was talking about networking your way through throughout your career. And, um, you know, it was for me, it was like, I was a pretty big deal speaking at this conference. I was kind of nervous, but we had a lot of fun. And Shauna came up afterwards. And I just remember her, her level of energy and enthusiasm, her professionalism. She just, she, you know, she was just talking how much about she loved this session. And then she's like, can I get a picture with the two of you? And I was like, oh my gosh, somebody's getting a picture. <laughs> and it was like, yeah, that's kind of cool. And, and now I look at this picture, Shauna, and this was now, Gosh, going on two years ago now, right? Because it was, was it, yeah. what, what day was it? Do you remember? Uh, February 28th. Of 2018. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that seems like that was a year ago. No, that was two years ago. Yeah. But um, I'm an introvert and I remember, um, you know, when Shauna first picked the topics about how introverts can rocket networking, I'm like, why are you picking that? You're not an introvert. Because she came up to me at this conference and she's taking pictures and she's interacting and she's like, no, I do. But but guys, any of you who um, are entrepreneurs, self-employed, um, you can probably relate to this. I look at myself in that picture now and I think about where I was mentally. I think about the level of confidence I had in myself and my business. And I'm just I'm just so much further ahead 
in the two years. And it's thanks to people like Shauna, because um, at, at that event, Shauna came up and we were chitty chatting and, you know, networking. And then she's like, hey, you got to check out this this other group. Um, we were both members in forum. You know, we were both affiliated with that events. But she's like, there's this other group that's coming to Metro Detroit now. And it's called Together Digital. And I'm like, gosh, what's that? And she's like, well, it's all it's all it's an all women's organization focused on women in digital. And we're just getting started and you've got to come out. And um, of course, and I looked up the information and went out to the first meeting and Elena Scherer, the founder, was there and she was, you know, just I mean, I was just my mind blown about this group and I joined right away. But um, Shauna has been for me one of those connectors um, throughout the past two years, you know, introducing me to people, shouting out on social media. And I see her at events and she's always welcoming and friendly. And and I, I, I can't tell you how many times people say Shauna told me to connect with you or Shauna suggested. So so let's talk about this, Shauna. I mean, the shock I had with this topic, you said how can introverts rock at networking? And I was like, you're not an introvert. You're an introvert, Shauna? Is that true, Bob? I am an introvert, yes. And it took a while for me to figure it out. Like, honestly, the first uh, inkling I had, I took a Myers-Briggs test. And I was, I think, INFP, um, okay. if I remember correctly. But like, I took it a couple times. And I would occasionally uh, dip into E. So okay. and that's a key, and we'll talk about that later. Okay. But um, it's, it, I mean, growing up even, I have an identical twin sister, which I think you know. Mm -hmm. And she was always sort of the leader, um, the one who was giving directions. And I sort of st stayed back a bit. Um, I wasn't the first one to go up and introduce myself to someone. Uh -huh. um, and then I also have a younger sister, um, and she is an actress. So Mm. Extra, uh, extrovert out, you know, out there all the time, easy in front of crowds. So I definitely um, identified as an introvert. And in fact, um, I mentioned to my family that I was going to talk, talk on this topic. And my mom was the first one to say, oh, yeah, I totally see that. You were really? yeah. growing up. Yeah. yeah. I always kept to myself. I, I was a daydreamer. I mean, yeah. they, they would talk about that a lot. Like I would you know, write or draw or, but I was most happy when I was sort of on my own. Yeah. Like, um, that's right. And, and being an introvert, you know, I always tell people it's not a character flaw. It's not like we're, we're bad people and we're shy and we're never going to be successful in life. It's that we recharge ourselves sometimes by, you know, after we're out in public and being with a lot of people, we need quiet time and quiet time is how we recharge, but it doesn't mean that we can't rock at events. Right. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah. So, so how have you been, you know, I guess let's let's talk about this. I know how how have you been able to be successful at networking events? And I have to say, Sean, I mean, when you go to an event, I feel like you're the life of the party. You're fluttering around, you're introducing people. I mean, when I met you at International Women's Day, you came right up and you're talking and I was like, it's very overwhelming. There's strangers here. Do I talk to them? But I mean, how are, are you nervous when you go to events or in, in what what approaches do you take when you're at events? So very nervous um, when I go to events, but it's gotten better over time. Like anything you do, the more you do it, um, the more comfortable you become. And I'm sure you feel the same way. Um, mm -hmm. But for me, um, what I found was key or what really um, changed the game for me, to, so to speak, was I actually gamified the experience. For really? Me. Yeah. So tell me about this. So, um, and for me, I haven't like done anything formal, um, but it was always like I established a point system. Um, so basically meeting someone was one point, connecting okay. was two points. So that would be like sending a personalized uh, link because okay. I know it's important to send a personalized one. And then uh, <laughs> throwing your tips in there. You are a good student, Shana. <laughs> um, and then um, three points would be engaging with that person after you connect. So commenting mm -hmm. to them, sending a personalized message, um, afterwards asking them questions about themselves, just really connecting. Okay. Um, so you can do that now um, in the virtual world. Um, yeah. For example, here, um, you could do it. And I also, when I was going to specific events, I tried to set bonus items too, Ooh, so, okay. like asking a question during a speaker Q&A, and that would be five points. So that was like a big 
you know, point value. Introducing yourself to a group of people, you know how the little click sort of forms. So like yeah. the end of the click and actually introducing yourself to the group, that's huge for an introvert. Yeah. Um, and then asking someone that you just met to introduce you to more people at the event. So those were all sort of things that I, I did for myself um, on Notepad, on the Note app, um, on my oh, phone. yeah, that's my question. I mean, you've got, is this, is this like an app you found or did you just create this yourself? No, just myself, like going okay. into notes. Um, so I would know I'm going to an event. I would set my, you know, I have my point structure, but then what are the bonus things? Okay. Um, and just establish it that way. But you can take it up a notch. And part of things that I was thinking about even for this session was how to encourage people to take it up a notch. So okay. take it up a notch and formalize it more. I would outline your target goals. And so that okay. could be for the month. It could be mm. for the quarter. It could mm -hmm. be for the week. However, you know, whatever time duration you want to do, um, okay. outline your target goals, and then you could also determine some type of reward. So for me, the reward was always outdoing myself at the next event. So you're competing. I mean, that was my next question. You're giving yourself points. Yeah. What do you do with these points? Are you, are, is this, I mean, is it just like I'm competing myself? You know, what was my, it's kind of like when I go to the gym, like how many miles did I walk today on the treadmill or whatever? Um, so I'm like, okay, today I walked 1.25 next week. I walk 1.3. So I feel better. Is it, is that you're kind of just competing against yourself mainly when you're doing this? For me, that's how it's always worked. And that was yeah. enough motivation, but for some people, um, and it's, it's, you know, rewards are big motivators for some people. Um, mm -hmm. it would probably behoove them to set milestones and then set rewards like that trigger that trigger back to your individual interests. So maybe okay. you love reading books. Um, so you say like, if I make it to 250 points, I'm going to go on Amazon and buy five books. That's just mm -hmm. an example. Okay. Or if you like pie, maybe you could like get a slice of pie. <laughs> yeah, slice of pie. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. so that's, you know, determining the reward. And then I thought, well, what else could people do? Like what else would help um, sort of keep them on track? Donna, can I interrupt you? Because I no. want to ask a question. I know there's many people that are watching and I'm, I'm curious of two questions. I'm going to look at my, I've got my phone guys. So I'm going to look down at my phone in a second and see your comments here. But I'm, I'm curious how many people that are watching this right now are introverts. So if you can comment below and say, yes, I'm an introvert. And again, Sean and I are introverts. So this is not a character flaw. This is just a personality characterization. So comment below and let us know if you are an introvert. And then second, since we're talking about gamifying, you know, the, the system, what things would you suggest we could do as introverts to give ourselves points? So for example, for me, I love coffee. So when I go to an event, I might give myself a point for talking to someone while getting my coffee. Would that count, Shauna? Yes, that would count. That's a great one. That's a great idea. Yeah, somebody write that down. For well, sure. Somebody, you know, guys, jot your comments below and, and like think about what could we give ourselves points for at networking events. And um, I'll look at those in a second, Shauna, but I'll let you continue with the discussion. Yeah. So um, I think you might know this, um, but I joined an accountability group um, during this time period, this um, while we're working from home and everything else. And the group I joined is Jan Griffith's group um, yeah. that I found out about on LinkedIn. And Brenda, thank you so much for introducing me to her podcast. It's it's wonderful. And I was fangirling her. So when I saw her <laughs> make that offer for an accountability clinic, I was like, sign me up. Yes. Um, yeah. So, but so accountability has really been on my brain lately. So the, the fourth thing I would kind of encourage people to do is establish a scorecard to track your progress. So something a little more formal, you could keep it at home in your office, but you know, you can definitely keep it on your notepad on your phone. And that's a great way when you're out networking to track and not make it really um, known to other people that you're doing it. Yeah, because I would have never like you, you, you're you like, when we first were talking, we did a prep call a couple days ago, and we were talking about this. And you're like, I gamify it. And I'm like, I'm familiar with gamifying. I'm like, how do you gamify being an introvert at network? And when she was explaining to me, I was like, wow, that's brilliant. Because I've never seen you like, you talk to me and you're like, hold on a second, you know, going and you're not like doing that while you're at the session. 
Um, and I would never know because it, it's not like I've seen sometimes when it's a salesperson at the event, I don't have a stack of cards, but they come to a, an event and they're like handing out business cards. Like yeah. they need to do about 20 before they leave. And it's so obvious because they're like, here you go, here you go, here you go. And then they walk to the next batch of people and they don't even talk to you. And you're like, throwing the card away. You know? Yeah, for sure. But for you, it's a very, I mean, you, you, you make a goal to do a, to have a conversation or meet someone, but you're, you're completely invested in that conversation. I can tell. Cause you're, you know, you're very involved with those conversations. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing I would encourage from like an accountability perspective, um, think about occasionally meeting with a trusted friend. So like, mm -hmm. I mean, your friends definitely have different things they have goals towards, I'm sure. Um, and you can meet and just sort of compare notes. And your thing that you can comp you can bring your little scorecard with you and talk about, you know, your results and achievements towards um, networking and kind of meeting your major milestones. So um, it's been great for me because originally when I go to events. I might talk to the person next to me, might, because I was so shy. Right? <laughs> um, but, you know, once I started gamifying things, because growing up, especially as a twin, um, we were very competitive. So it's in my nature, it's in my DNA to compete. Now I'm competing with myself, but mm -hmm. I'm still competing. So um, for me, it was really natural. And I just, I loved it. So now when I go to events, I'll meet 10 people, 20 people, you know, mm -hmm. it's, I can't even remember the time when I just went to an event and met one person like yeah. so far, far, far away from where I'm at right now. So, so when you go to an event, Shauna, are you like for me, I feel most comfortable finding somebody I know first. And and if I don't, then I look for somebody else who looks like me, who, who's kind of meandering and isn't part of the, one of those little quick conversations that are happening. But but what do you do when you first walk into an event? Are you finding someone, you know, or are you are you on, already on your your point card there and, and working towards some goals? So I definitely warm up. Um, and what I typically do is when I'm in my car, I sort of remind myself like here, you know, here's what I'm doing to gain the points. Here's my, you know, objectives for this event. Like I sort of, and I take a few minutes and I just like relax because it's really yeah. important for me to kind of relax and have that peaceful moment before mm -hmm. I walk into a networking event, because they can be chaotic, like when you're registering and doing all those things. But I also do look for friendly faces and your okay. friendly face I look for definitely I inform events. Um, Sandy, who we both know, Sandy Harvey, she's another mm -hmm. one I will go and look for um, because you guys are so warm and welcoming and I feel you know me very well. So yeah. Get from you guys before I kind of go in um, and start the networking game really helps. Okay. I, I was trying to look for, I had a picture that I took of myself and I, I posted it on Instagram recently and it was like me in my car. And I think I put it in stories because I can't find it in my Instagram for Melly Marketing, but it was, it was me in my car and I was walking into, this was um, uh, the Sterling Heights Chamber, Macomb Chamber put on a really big event every year. It's the governor's luncheon. And this was like literally not too long ago. It was like, right. I think it was like January or February, but it was right before everything started happening. And there was still a lot of people. There's probably a thousand people at this event. And I took a picture of myself sitting in my car. Cause it was like, it was a major event. I hadn't been to a large an event with that many people in such a long time. And my heart started racing and I was getting nervous. And I took a picture of myself in the mirror of my car. You know, I was parked at the time and I posted it on Instagram going, I am freaking out right now. You guys like I had to walk into this event. And um, I see a lot of people from my former lives when I when I go to these major events and my organization used to sponsor and we were, you know, a big name. And now it's like just me walking in. Um, but I remember feeling very, you know, it was very intense. And then I walked in and I, I found people I knew and I was fine afterwards. But I can I can picture you like in your car, like Shauna, you're going to do this. You got yeah, to earn. 100%. <laughs> you got to <work> to read. hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. So then tell me what happens after the event? I mean, do you do you book time, quiet time after an event to kind of recharge or what what is your what is your go-to plan? So I have to um, and I feel like we've talked a little bit about this because I am just like spent after an event. Like I have and a lot of times too um, I'm really bad at small talk, which is also something that introverts tend to like not be the best at small talk. I would never have guessed that cuz I think you're awesome at small talk. I feel like 
I feel like the way that you approach it, you're always relatable. Like I do this sometimes too. I'm like this, I feel awkward being at this event and I don't know anybody. Do you guys feel like that too? <laughs> and I feel like your approach, you're very authentic with it. It's not like, so did you see the stock market today, Bob? You know? <laughs> so I used to keep, and I don't really need it anymore because like I said, if you keep practicing, if you keep you know, going out and networking, you feel more and more comfortable. Yeah. But I used to have a list of just icebreaker questions on okay. my pad, on my phone that I could refer to. And, you know, I'd have maybe three or four of them memorized before I go into an event. Do you just, remember any of them? Can you share them with us now? Um, just sometimes, like, if I was waiting in the buffet line, something as simple as, like, so how did you hear about this event? Or, you know, what interesting thing have you heard thus far from speakers? Things like that are really um, easy icebreakers, and it gets people talking. Do not ask questions that are like yes, no questions. So stick okay. you have to be open-ended questions. It's really important. Um, and there are, I mean, honestly, you know, Google icebreaker questions, and there's easily lists and lists of questions that come up, and then you can customize them. So I'm okay. a big believer of never create something from scratch, Google mm -hmm. it, and then customize it for your own use. Yeah. I love it. That's a really great question. So I'm going to take a moment, Shauna, just to kind of look and see. Um, we've already got this post is already blowing up all over, all over LinkedIn land. Everybody's watching the post and seeing what's happening here. And um, I'm, I'm in, going to remind you guys to, if you happen to be watching this on facebook.com slash Mellor Marketing, you can actually leave a comment on in, in Facebook and I can actually pull your comment up on screen. Hint, hint. So here's one from Chris Garrity who's saying, hi, hi Brent. Hi, Chris. Thanks hi, for watching Chris. today. But if anyone else, if you'd like to wish Shauna a happy birthday, I can put that up on screen. If you are an introvert, you have tips that you'd like us, I'd like to share, you can go on Facebook. But I'm going to read through a couple of the comments that are coming into LinkedIn right now. So Shauna, so far, 26 reactions, 52 comments, 184 views of this video. I think this is like the, the highest so far <laughs> of any any LinkedIn live. So I told you before the show, I'm like, this is going to be a popular topic because I, I strongly believe, do you think so too, Shauna, that there are more introverts than there are extroverts out there? I do. And honestly, I think um, there definitely is a spectrum and you can deviate within the yeah. spectrum. So like you can go to a place, an introvert can go to a place where yeah. they're feeling extroverted and vice versa. An extrovert can go to a place where they're fe feeling introverted. So it's not like a cut and dry, like you're an introvert, that's it, you're always right. an introvert. Um, it, it definitely, there's a spectrum that you can run. Yeah, absolutely. And I think some people, you know, I at certain times of of the day and certain points in my career and certain points, you know, where I'm feeling in the mood wise that day, I feel like I'm more introverted versus extroverted and, and et cetera. Um, but yeah, definitely, um, definitely a range there. So I'm going to pull this one off of screen here for a second. And I'm just going to give some shout outs, first of all, for those of you who are watching. And we've got many, many happy birthdays coming in here. Jan Grimace is watching us, Shauna. So look at that. Hi, Jan. Going, right? <laughs> hey, Jan, how are you? Jan, hey, could you drop your link to the podcast on LinkedIn in a comment? So if people want to listen to that, they can link over. And then Jan, also, if you're still running that accountability clinic, could you put the link in there? If not, you know, just let us know that as well. Um, Joyce Hayek Rouse is Hi. saying hey, happy birthday. Kelly Belleville says happy birthday, Shauna. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> Catherine Biggenho says happy birthday. Oh, hi, Catherine. Lisa Finiteri. Uh, oh. Is that one of your coworkers at Merkel? Yes, she is. Oh. She is. Hi, Lisa. And then we have Carolyn Sauer, Tracy Apat Apat Apatira. I might be mispronouncing that. I apologize, Tracy. Um, we have Salam, we have Laura Schwartz, uh, Schwartz excuse me, uh, Jennifer Supal Gambino joining us from Tampa. So we're outside of Michigan now. <laughs> We've got Diane Hunter on the line. We have Brenna, who's from Michigan at home. Um, Vanessa says hi. Aaron Kamenoff. Hi, Aaron. Nice to see you. Hi, Aaron. Aaron. hi Vanessa. And let's see, let's see who else we have in here. Lots of folks. Allison Jolov, Vanessa Moon. Hello, ladies. Hi, How are you? Sophia uh, says, happy birthday. Lots of happy birthdays for you out here, Shauna. Uh, thank you, guys. I really appreciate that. Olga said, Olga's a fellow Detroit Together digital member, Olga Kavtun. And Olga says, we look like sisters, Shauna. 
I think we could play that one off, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, Claudette is joining us from Rochester Hills. Uh, let's see. Andrea Mill loves your point system, Shauna. So oh, great. Definitely put it to work. It makes a difference. <laughs> we also have Brian Lancaster, Graham Moore, Angela Spring, um, who says, Angela says she is an introvert. Then we have Michelle Ramig. Um, lots of people saying, yes, I am an introvert. Bruce says, sorta. Okay, Bruce, you're sure. probably one of those you flip depending on the situation. Yeah. Um, Catherine's an extrovert. So Catherine, how about this point system? Do you have any, do you have any thoughts on it? Is this something that, could, that you could contribute? Because maybe you as an extrovert might have some tips that we as introverts could use. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. That's a really good point. We have Jean Shovlin. Um, Allison is Myers Briggs. INTJ. Hey, for you, you guys that are watching, do you remember what the what is it, what do the, each of the letters stand for? Can someone drop that in comments? Because I've heard like ENFG, ABCDEFG. I don't know what the letters stand for. <laughs> I'm like ENTJ, QP. I don't know what those mean. If you know what they are, drop them in the comments. I'm kind of curious. Um, Angela's tip for networking, Shauna, she says, arrive nice and early when it's not too busy, seems less intimidating that way. Is that something you do too, or? I try to, I really do. Um, and she's dead on because then you can kind of um, look through the room, understand the layout of the room, really understand where you could maybe network too. Mm -hmm. And sort of knowing your boundaries helps as well, at least okay. for me. Okay. Awesome. And I'm throwing Mavita's comment up on screen. You know, Mavita, Sean, I feel like you guys should know each other. We probably have run into each other. Yeah. Mavita Burris, and she's a super heavy networker too. I have to think Mavita's an extrovert because I don't, yeah. I, can't, I can't imagine she's an introvert, but I could be wrong because I thought you were an extrovert and here I am, you know. Well, and that. I sort of identify, and we can talk more about this too, as an extroverted introvert, which is yeah. a thing. I think you've posted actually an article about that, Brenda. Yes, I did. It's, uh, I, I have my phases. So when I'm speaking in front of a group, I'm always very quiet beforehand. I get a little frazzled. And then as soon as I speak, I'm fine. Um, I'm feeling extroverted. And then afterwards, I kind of have that quiet time, yeah. you know, being needed. Um, let's see a couple more comments here and then we'll get back into the conversation. So we have Reham who says, I'm an introvert, but when I tell people that they say, what? No, you are not. But oh. they don't know the effort I had to put in to go to talk to them. So the Absolutely. Sean Ramsey model of networking. Absolutely same. Totally relate. Yeah. Yeah. And let's see. Um, Shauna, a question for you. This is from David Riddle. And David is asking, how do you keep track of a of points at events. So he may not have heard the explanation a little bit earlier. Or I guess I guess the good question here is too, because how are you keeping track? Do you like sit in your car afterwards? So I usually have so I'll have the um different points, like what I'm valuing the different points already in my notepad. Okay. And so I can just like walk away for a few minutes and I just usually put like um a strike underneath each one. So then I can count them up later. It doesn't take a lot of time. I mean, people are always sort of looking down at their phones um, at events, even though you shouldn't um, okay. occasionally. So that's sort of how I do it. And then I get back into my car and then I can sort of tally and see how it did. Ah, so the next time I see Shauna at an event, what I think she's doing is checking her email. She's, yeah, actually, she's actually tallying her points up, guys. I am, <laughs> I am. You know, that makes, that makes me uh, think of an idea too, Shauna. Um, have you ever thought about, I know you're active on Instagram. Have you ever thought about creating like a graphic and posting it on Instagram of your point system? I, and then, I mean, I haven't, but I think that's a great idea. I yeah. And then that. you could pull it up and then all of us could find it. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, how can I get this from her? Well, I'll ask her to post it. <laughs> yeah, no. And I mean, I've actually thought about that, like making a really cool graphic or something, even to like blow up and put at home. Like, yeah. to, like I said, to keep myself accountable. So yeah, I like it. Um, uh, Hamel says networking events can really complement LinkedIn networking. And Shauna, I think you do this really, really well. Um, again, when I meet people at events, uh, you know, um, I, I can't tell you how many times I've met someone and we'll get into conversations and I'll say, what brought you here? And they'll say, Shauna Ramsey invited me on LinkedIn and she told me to come here. And I'm like, is she here today? And they're like, no, you know? <laughs> but I'm like, you, you do such a good job. I think of both before the event, reaching out to people and especially with Detroit Together Digital, 
you'll find like wherever we're holding that event and you'll find you'll do kind of a geography search of people in Southfield or Farmington or, or Troy or Detroit. And you'll you'll say, hey, it looks like you might live or work in the Farmington Hills area. We're meeting at this place. Come on out. Um, and then it sounds like you're also doing the post event follow up and connecting with people, yeah. too. Yes. And I absolutely um, love doing that. Um, yeah. So uh, it's really helped me to meet people because I am more comfortable communicating online than okay. I am in person. Yeah. So, um, and probably because I am an introvert. You know, yeah. I, Again, I'm, I'm like, I hear these things and I'm like, no, you're no, 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 no. You're like, you're personable. You're like the life of the party walk. Yeah. And it's in a way too, like you guys, if you see Shauna at an event, she's so approachable. And I, I've even seen when you work the room, you help to make people feel comfortable. If they're not in a conversation, you might be like, hey, Sheila, come and meet Brenda. Let's talk. We're both members of Troy Chamber or whatever. And, and I feel like you're so inclusive. Um, I just, you know, I adore you, Shauna. I really do. <laughs> Same here. So let's see who else. We have Rick Katran joining us. Hello, Rick. Um, Rick, actually, funny backstory, Shauna. I was at a, an event for MICPA, and I was doing this thing where I literally had my phone up on a tripod, and I kept videotaping myself. And I would hit, like, video, and then I would step back and do a take, and then I'd stop it and play it. And um, it was, you know, in between the show seminars. And Rick saw me, and he came up. He's like, do you need help? <laughs> and he, he ended up holding the camera so I didn't have to keep walking back and forth. But... But that's a good point too, as an introvert, like look around the room and see who might be feeling maybe some of the feel feelings you're feeling and maybe they're displaying them. I mean, yeah. they need help that they're feeling uncomfortable and then try and like put yourself in their shoes and go up to them and, and talk to them, make yeah. them feel more comfortable. Yeah. People are saying they love the realness of our conversation here, Shauna. We're being raw and real. <laughs> Um, here's an icebreaker. This is from Jan Griffiths and I'll invite you guys if you have other icebreaker questions you use at events to drop those in the comments too. Um, Jan will ask people, what's your story? And, and her thought is, you know, people love to talk about themselves. So, um, so really good, good tip there. Yeah. So, so let's, let's kind of move along here. Um, so, you know, talking more about, um, introverts and how they can, you know, kind of do really well and rock at networking. Shauna, any, any other tips or pointers for us to think about? Um, I would say spend some time like each week thinking about different ways that you can network. So you made some great points about how I network that mm -hmm. maybe not everyone else would, would like immediately think about. Um, for me, I started really um, going great guns into networking through volunteering. Oh, okay. What I did um, was I um, am part of PMI, so Project mm -hmm. Management Institute, um, and I'm part of the Huron Valley chapter. And I really wanted to meet people and get more involved, but I knew I was very shy. Mm -hmm. At their meetings, there was probably 150 to 200 people at their wow. meetings. Mm -hmm. So I kept thinking, well, how can I get involved where I would feel comfortable? And that's how I became a speaker chair. That was my mm -hmm. first speaker chair position. Okay. Um, and I had a purpose. Like I had a reason to reach out to whomever I wanted to mm -hmm. because yeah. I was trying to slot speakers. Um, so for me, that was a great um, way to kind of step forward and start more actively networking. Um, and I loved it too, because, you know, volunteering is so important. Um, and it, there definitely is organizations out there for everyone, in my opinion, um, mm -hmm. you have to be willing to kind of take a chance and explore those. So. Yeah, that's a really good point. And, and um, I don't know if you know, Roy Sexton, do you know Roy? So you know? I met Roy, at one of the inform events i think actually i was sitting at a table with you and i heard this amazing laugh behind me <laughs> and, I heard, and that is how i met roy um, did you guys I, talk i i think we talked briefly i mean i okay. see him online all the time and i'll comment on his posts and everything else but yeah that was what I, like what i remember about roy when big i met him the first time. Big <laughs> laugh, a great laugh actually yeah. So Roy and I, uh, we actually did, uh, we, we've got a live coming up at the end of this month and we're talking about, you know, being introverts too. But when I 
Uh, I think when I first, I don't know if it was when I first met him, it was at an Inform annual meeting and he and I were talking and I feel like we interacted with each other so much online. I don't remember if that was the first meeting or if it was that, you know, we had an in-depth conversation in person. And um, he and I were talking and we were just talking about how I was like, gosh, I always feel like these events are so, I feel so awkward. You know, I walk up to people and I'm like, I'm having to break into conversations and I'm like, I'm an introvert. And he's like, you're not an introvert. He's like, I'm an introvert. I'm like, oh, you are not an introvert. Like, there's no way. And I said, Rory, you got to come out. And, and he did a talk at Inform Troy talking about, you know, introverts and some of the techniques he's talking about are similar to you. And he he would say as an introvert, you know, give yourself permission to find a role at an event. So be the greeter that is welcoming people into the door, handing out programs, checking people in at the registration, right. battle, people. helping yep. set up, you know, whatever, facilitating, getting people to the stage and back. But when you have a purpose, mm -hmm. then um, some of that heat comes off of you, you know, in terms of like um, the pressure and the anxiety you get. And he had a couple of other great tips. But in addition to his laugh, Shauna, if you are ever looking for a speaker, Roy is this, this, the guy to book. And he dances, he sings, he entertains, and he is such a great marketer, too. If you book him, he will promote your event everywhere. So a little plug for Roy Sexton, yes. fellow introvert. But echoing Shauna's tips on, um, you know, giving yourself a role. And um, PMI, you know, there's a lot of great professional organizations out there. And if you're not already involved in a professional organization, you know, right now, I think just about every group is doing online virtual events, right, Shauna? Yes. Yeah. yeah. The Zoom rooms and. And it's amazing because that's a great way too that you can kind of see, will this organization be a fit? Are these people my people? You know, do I feel comfortable? Because that those are all things that are really important, especially when an introvert is sort of looking at getting involved. So. Yeah, and I and I've been to events, and I'm sure you have as well, Shauna. Like, uh, I'm like I get there, and I'm like the the group. I understand it's gelling pretty well with itself, but I just don't feel like it's a place for me, and that and that's okay. You know, you've got to find okay. groups where you're comfortable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's see, a couple other, I asked for any other icebreaker questions. Um, and Jan, thank you. She has dropped in her podcast link. Yay. Says, there you go. For the accountability clinic, um, just message me on LinkedIn. We start at 6.30 a.m. This is Every Eastern day. time, right? Every this is day. like 6.30 a.m., like yeah. in the a.m., in the time before the alarm goes off when we're working from home, a.m., crazy. 6.30 a.m., and I... Up until today, I had not missed a day since she started the accountability clinic. She wow. said to me, she said, you know, it's your birthday. You should take the day off because I, I took the day off of work. And she's like, take it off from the accountability clinic. And I miss it. I miss accountability. Aww. Like, I wish I would have said, no, I'm going to come. I'm going to, I'm gonna, it's nice. That's nice, Jan, for the offer, but no. Aww. So do you have to come to it every day or can you come just like once? So you can come as often as you want, but I mean, yeah. it's addictive. Like yeah. once, I, once you've been to one, you want to come to more. And yeah. just to kind of, um, not to get off topic a little no, bit. No, that's okay. Yeah. Clinic. Um, so what Jan does is she has you um, say out loud like one personal goal and one professional goal. And then what? how would you describe your mood? Like what is your feeling for the day? Um, so one word to describe that. Um, and we all go through and then the next morning we report back and we say if we met um you know our personal and professional goals from the day okay. before so i mean that, that is hardcore like six how many people are in this group at 6 30 in the morning oh i think we've like it's been six seven eight i mean there's wow. been i there's yeah. been a decent attendance um and i have been so happy that I got in right at the beginning because it is it has made a world of difference, especially right now, because we're social social distancing and we yeah. can't, you know, it's hard. You want to keep that positive momentum and that, you know, that bounce in your step during the day. And that mm -hmm. 630 meeting does it for me. Let me tell you, I keep telling Jan, it's been like the bright spot for me of everything that has happened. Are, are you guys on video too? Or are people like dressed yeah, and made up and so formal? We, <laughs> you know, so we give each other permission. Like we do not, I, I am not in full makeup. I do not okay. have hair done nice like I do right now. I mean, I have my hair <laughs> back. 
a lot of times I'm not wearing makeup. I mean, and, and, but it's yeah. fine. I mean, you get to know each other quickly. And I mean, we are all there to support one another yeah. um, and just really be positive influences in each other's lives. Okay. I'm going to commit to getting up. So I'm going to, I'm going to try this. I just like every day I have to admit now that I'm self-employed, I, I structure my schedule in a way that works for me and for my family. And when the kids were in school, I would never, I would try never to set any meeting before um, 9 a.m. because I like to get my daughter to the bus stop now. But um, but now in kind of the COVID times that we're in, I mean, um, it's it's stressful and it's it's challenging and the moods go up and down. And I'm like, I'm going to sleep in. If I don't need to get up early in the morning, I'm going to sleep in. But it it sounds intriguing the way you're describing it. So I'm gonna yeah, and I up. mean, we've had children make appearances. My daughter has make made appearances at the accountability clinic. Like anything is on the table. It's completely fine. So. Okay, yeah, that's good to know. So I don't have to worry about. And sometimes here's my mom hack, you guys too. I will like towards the end of the day, especially when my makeup's kind of not, not feeling fresh anymore. I'll I'll join a Zoom call. I did this with the Troy Chamber the other day. I put my pink cowboy hat on. And then I put my um, fun sunglasses on and then, I, and, I, <laughs> and then I put a, um, I can't do it right now cause we're not in zoom, but I put in my zoom um, behind me, I put a picture of pie, like cherry oh, pie. Yeah. <laughs> and then people are all distracted by all the fun stuff and they're not going, gosh, she looks really tired. <laughs> That's a great, I mean, that that's a great tip right there. Like wear something bright. Like, right, right. I mean, cause you'll start to feel it too. Your energy level go up too. Yeah. And it's, um, you know, when we first got on the call today, Shauna, you're like, wow, look at you wearing your signature color. And I, I'm like, yeah, I've got like a grubby old t-shirt on underneath. <laughs> this is what we do as women, right? We get a compliment and we are, I, I immediately diminish it. We're yeah, like, oh, yeah, sure. I'm actually quite ugly underneath it. You know, it's not that good. <laughs> Um, so Dawn Peters, um, do you know Dawn? She's she's saying Engage in Ann Arbor is really interesting and non-traditional networking format geared towards introverts. I don't I know I'm connected with Dawn, but I've, have you heard of that group, Shauna? Engage? I've, I've heard of Engage for sure. I need to check it out more because as you know, Brenda, I love organizations and checking out new organizations. Yeah, so Shauna's like, you give her a challenge and, and I don't even think about it. I'm like, I kind of mentioned in passing, oh, you should check out Gr Jan Griffiths. She's really awesome. You should follow her, connect with her. And then the next thing I know, like Shauna's like doing business with Jan and she's on her success set, you know, like she's doing all these great things. But um, sometimes I'll be like, you know, just like, oh, I should check that out. Shauna, have you heard about this? And then I'll see her the next time. And she's like, yeah, so I went to that group and checked it out. It's really awesome. So, um, so somebody did respond to the INTJ. So, I as introvert, thank you, Jean Shovelin, by the way, for that. I as introvert, um, N is intuitive, T is thinking, J is judging, and then is there an O originator? You have originator too in parentheses. Um, so we have introvert, intuitive, thinking, judgmental, and then there's ESFP, extrovert, sensing, feeling, perceiving. So we got a whole lot of acronyms going on here today. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then there's also um, the Clifton Strengths Finder. I don't know if you've ever heard of that or people on here have heard of it, but um, I've done that. And that gives you kind of all a gamut of characteristics that you're made of as well. Okay. So what, I mean, what do we, what do we do with that information? Is that just more, okay, does it make you feel better because you know what you are or I mean do you do you use those in the workplace Shauna as you know like a team building thing or what do you do with those systems so the Clifton Strength Finder I definitely have used in the workplace in fact um one of the last roles I had I, I helped run a small team um and everyone on the team took it and it just really helped us figure out how to communicate with each other better because mm -hmm we knew sort of what those strengths, what those strengths are. And then we also could collaborate better that way too. So if I knew someone was super great at public speaking, for example, I don't know if that's a characteristic, but like say that came up, yeah. then I would go to them if I had to public speak and like get tips from them. Um, or like maybe someone's really good at listening. So they would be a good person to be on point to sort of help gather all the details when we're having meetings and discussing something. Okay. Um, so things like that. Um, and it really helped. I felt like our team come together a little bit more after we did exercises like that. Okay. 
I'm taking us like way off topic. Here. No, 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 okay. <laughs> We're kind of wandering a little bit. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, it's, it's the, the power, I think, of, of conversation. And, you know, especially I think in these sessions that we're in today, it's, um, and we're having folks jump, jumping in and chime in on different things. Um, Jan does say there's no, there's no judgment in her accountability clinic. So absolutely none. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> and Tisha Hammond says good things happen before 7 a.m. Tisha, I got to tell you, girl, I think the only thing good happening at, before 7 a.m. in my household, my husband makes the coffee. And um, I'm going to give a little, little plug right now, too, for this company. It's called Sugar Creek Coffee Roasters. They're in, I want to say North Carolina. They're in, in the United States, but they do small batch roasting of coffee. And when I put my daughter to bed at night, we, we say our prayers together. And one of the things we say in our prayers every night is, you know, um, let mommy have one good cup of coffee every day, preferably made at home by daddy, because the coffee he makes is so good. And that's the one thing that happens in my household before 7 a.m. is my husband makes the coffee before I get up. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, so go, go ahead, Shana. Um, so for all of you introverts out there who have commented that you're an introvert, yeah. I just want to share with uh, everyone who's com commented that signs that you're an extroverted introvert. I have a little list here that I can go through. Oh, yeah, please do. Yeah. Okay. So uh, number one. Your energy level is closely tied to your environment. Okay. Number two, you find people to be both intriguing and exhausting. Mm -hmm. Number three, <laughs> people and interactions drain you while others recharge you. Brenda, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> um, you can be charming, but also deeply introspective and reflective. Number five, when you feel rested and recharged, you reach out to others. Mm -hmm. Number six, you need time to warm up in social situations. Okay. Number seven, it actually takes less energy to say what's on your mind than to make small talk. So is this, is this, in, are you an introverted extrovert or did I flip flop the words? So it's signs that you're an extroverted introvert. So you're okay, an introvert you. that tends to, sort of deviate onto the extrovert side on occasion. Um, okay. So um, number eight, um, you're selectively social. Okay. Number nine, you have no interest in trying to prove yourself in a crowd of strangers, which I can attest to that. <laughs> um, and then number 10, and this is the big one that we've talked a lot about, you're often confused for an extrovert. Hmm. So where is this from? Is this something you're reading on screen right now? Or where is this oh, from? Yeah, I have just, I did a little cheat notes over at <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Are you guys mm. like, where is she at? Can mm. I read that? Like, where can, can you share I, that with me? Yes, I, I, I will send you okay. the list. Uh, so you okay. can, you can have that. Yes. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. And, and there are so many things on there where you say like, even like the you stress more about what you're going to talk about than the actual conversation itself. Like, should I say this? Should I not say this? What's he going to think about this? What's she going to, is she going to judge me? But I mean, like, just go yeah. out and say something, you know, and have the conversation. So, yeah. good thing. so we're actually reaching um, the end of our hour here together, Shauna. So I just want to, um, you know, ask, are there any, any final comments you have for the group? And, and as you do that, Shauna, I'm going to pull up your LinkedIn up on screen. I hope you don't mind. Oh, um, okay. And just, just to ask the question, Shauna, are you open to receiving invitations from folks here um, that are watching the session or are you more like a follower or what, what, oh, what's your problem? Absolutely, for? send me an invite, personalize it though. Brenda okay. does personalize it. So, um, but yeah, I would love to connect who, with whoever is interested in connecting. Awesome. And then any final comments for, for us today, Shauna? I mean, we've been talking all, all show long about how introverts can rock at networking. So final pep talk to the group here for the introverts watching here today. Um, be open to new opportunities and figure out ways to challenge yourself in those new opportunities. And honestly, it will pay off in dividends. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Shauna. I have had just a blast chatting with you today. And I miss seeing you in person, but it's so nice to see your face on screen. <laughs> I know, I miss you too, Brenda. Pretty soon, soon, yeah. we'll be able to see each other in person. Yeah, I feel like the conversations are starting to happen now about what that return to work may look like and uh, return to networking events. I think we'll be shoulder bumping or elbow bumping or whatever for a little while. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah. So. All right, guys. Well, thank you again, Shauna. Happy birthday. If you guys happy joined birthday. us late, it's Shauna's birthday today. You got to drop a comment below and say happy birthday to Shauna before before you leave here. And Shauna, any big plans for the birthday night tonight? Um, well, we'll probably have pie. It's secure pecan pie. I know you approve, Brenda. Excellent. And I just want to thank everybody too for their participation. It's always fun to have people come in and I've really enjoyed it. So thank you awesome. for having me, Brenda. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining Shauna. And guys, even if you're watching this in playback, I will share the links with Shauna so that she can watch your, your links later. And we were even talking, you know, sometimes these live events, we get a lot of people watching them live, but then um, Sean and I do the same thing. We'll like pull up our phone before we get on the road. And we kind of like, this is like a podcast. We'll find like earlier broadcasts yeah. and we'll listen back to them. And then I am going to be putting this on YouTube and Shauna, eventually I will get a podcast up and going. And I know this is going to be one of the episodes that goes into the podcast as well. So there'll be continued listenership and viewership opportunities over time. That'll be great. And mm -hmm. I can't wait to um, have new connections and be connected to everybody who is on here. And this is a great time. Thanks, Brenda. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. Thank you, Shauna, for your time today and for your awesome insights on sharing how we can rock as introverts. You guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And thanks for listening. Take care. Thank you.